Hi guys, thanks for watching. Um, I've done a mild restoration on this Bowser German screwdriver number three Phillips here. Um, I've done a basic restoration. I give it a wet sand, um, just like Scout Crafter does, to uh, 50, uh, 2000 grit. And then I give it a coat of spray lacquer. Um, and then I've gone over the metal. I haven't took all the pitting out, but I'll give it a rough a rough polish so anyway it's better than it was anyway that's for sure and it feels so smooth in the hand it's so tactile because i've kind of polished out any of the grip what was on it but i've done a little bit of research into the company and it was founded back in 1884 by robert bowser um, and it was a family-run business till 1970 when it was sold to a corporation a german company called dobby dot and then it was called Bowser Dobby Dot. Um, and then that company itself was sold in 1988 to Baco Tools, the Swedish firm, um, but still made in Germany. Um, and they still kept the brand going. But you can tell it's got that Baco quality feel. Anyway, Baco sold it in 1991 to Sandvik Tools, which is another Swedish brand of tools. And then in 1991, it was bought by Snap-on. And the actual uh, company, well, the brand is still going today, but they're made out of, um, they're still around, but they're not the same quality now. They're a much cheaper tool and they're made in uh, Brazil. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick overview. It feels like quality. I'm not sure when this one dates. I would guess it'd probably go for 80s, um, but I might be wrong, but it's a beautiful colour. Absolutely stunning. So I just thought I'd have a quick overview of a little light restoration. I've just done it of a number three Phillips made by Bowser company, tool company um, out of Germany. And I thought that was a little bit of fun. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't for more videos. All right, bye.